Hey, what's going on? Bill's Krosama here. So we're going to take a look at all the event mission stuff today. This is the first event mission of this game's pretty much existence. Uh, so there's pretty much a lot to go over just for the fact that we're unknown to this. And there's a lot of things that you may or may not know as of right now. So if you go right here into the events, you're just going to click right there and it should populate with Rising Arrow. Now the first thing you are going to be taking a look at just on this banner alone that we did not know previously is that you need to pull either a Dynamis part or an Exia part to get any kind of multiplier. So if you get one Dynamis part, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's any part uh, from that, that mobile suit, not necessarily just the armor, it can be one of the weapons as well. But if you get one part from Dynamis, then you can get a five times bonus on your actual coins. And I'll go over how many coins you're going to get per mission. Uh, then also for Exia, you can get seven times the points per mission well the coins so that's really damn good so let's click right here now you are going to have uh just the normal mode that is pretty easy combat power is only five thousand you're gonna have hard which is a thousand uh ten thousand and then very hard which is going to be costing a whopping 45 energy and the uh, minimum is going to be fifteen thousand. as far as like you know maybe what you need to bring in but if you have like a ten thousand suit that should actually do pretty well now they don't actually say it in here, but I already know what the coin drops are. So the coin drops uh, for normal is going to be three coins. The coin drop for hard is going to be six coins, and the coin drop for nine is uh, well, the coin drop for very hard is going to be nine. Uh, now you are going to want that multiplier on these, um, you know, these pulls. So you need to go and hit up the uh, little, you know, coin shop or the uh, the gotcha shop first. Uh, hit up some of those try and get your you know your luck flowing and get a, either a dynamis or get yourself an exit apart and then come back and start doing these uh, events but for right now I mean it, if you if you have yourself an exia let's just say for example you have the exit apart on you and you only need one uh, and you do the very hard you get nine coins times that by seven bam you got 63 coins in total so that's that's a lot that's a lot of coins from one mission itself now if you heed my warning and you waited to use all your little like recovery high and recovery normal and strong tickets then you would have been able to flow directly through this event like nothing get almost every single thing so let's go ahead and we're going to jump directly into the actual exchange so if you go into the exchange you're going to have all three of the different type of exchanges right here and we'll cover the arena uh later but for the coin exchange on the bullet eye uh, basically what you're gonna have is the rising gundam so I've already gotten the rising gundam and I can't really view it since it's sold out so I'll definitely show you the rising gundam in its entirety right after I show you all the rest of this um, so yeah I've already acquired all those and then you are gonna get some awakening ships now here's the biggest thing you can get a four star awakening circuit so you if you don't know in order to increase your four star parts in, into a five star you are going to need three of these pieces but you're only able to get one here and you're able to get one more in the actual achievement section for the event missions uh, and that's something i will show you in a bit as well but right here i mean you have the ai and i am going to start working towards getting the ai awakening ship because i do want that because you know hey, having a five star uh, ai is going to pay off in the long run i'm going to probably do that to my armor array because my new gundam is it's it's pretty spicy boys uh, but yeah, I just need to finish off the rise and you get 15 each that should be enough to raise the trait or the EX uh, the EX skill to level 10 But obviously you cannot fully level it up unless you level up the uh, the part itself So it's a three star right now You're gonna have to bring it all the way to level five or, or five stars in order to fully use all these parts and level up the trait or EX abilities um, And that's something I can probably go over uh, later in the video and if y'all want to really learn uh, how to properly tune up and upgrade and all the kind of like secrets behind that but here you're gonna have some more awakening circuits i if i do have any kind of excess um coins at the end of this i am going to be looking at getting more of these awakening circuits um i'm not going to use any more of my like um energy recovery tickets because i've already spent all the 50 percents i still have a lot of the 100 percents left so i'm gonna keep those for the next event but for the time being um yeah i'm really just focused on just cruising out the rest of this um event because I, I kind of gotten everything i want so you know definitely later on today or you know some definitely uh, throughout every every single day i'm going to be hitting up this event primarily now this is the suit i'm actually using for the event uh, it's 
it holds its own. I really don't even need any other mobile suits to be with me whenever I go into the very, very hard. And I just go in auto mode. I don't even like uh, pilot anymore. I press, you know, next auto, and then it just does its own thing. But I am using the Exia's uh, backpack. Uh, so let me show you right here. So yeah, it looks really stupid in my opinion, just on uh, on an age suit. It kind of looks a little bit like the uh, Cerave, but you know, it, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, however, my Titus has been doing pretty good, and I'm honestly just aiming to be the world's greatest ti uh, Titus user. A lot of these parts are already like almost maxed, so some of the skills are leveled up quite like like look EX skill level level six just for the uh, the head. And I'm also going to have uh, well, level 2 for that trait. So a lot of these are already getting leveled up because every time I pull a pack, I get like 2 age parts per opening. And it's just a little bit ridiculous. Like I need to record all these all these age uh, openings I'm getting. But yeah, so really good. This is the, the main suit I'm getting. I don't have any good shields at all. So I'm just kind of stuck using this normal one. But hey, the overall build is pretty good. Okay, so here is the Rising Gundam. This is all you're going to get. You're not getting any extra weapons. Now, he does have his bow right there. But to my knowledge, the staff is not usable. So it kind of sucks. But it looks really good. You know, I did kind of like talk a little smack on the Rising Gundam. But I did forget exactly how cool it really did look. So uh, looking over the stats, I mean, the, stat, the stats are, are okay. It definitely has a lot of uh, melee defense. The melee attack's really good. Um, but everything else kind of just really is slacking. It doesn't look like it's going to be a shot attack uh, at all just in its kind of bare form obviously if you start you know throwing weapons on there you can definitely have a really good long distance um range you know mobile suit but this is not what it's used for this is 100 a melee suit uh and let's just take a look at the ex skills so the head mounted vulcans that's kind of like eh. rising arrow uh, honestly rising arrow it's B, it's B piercing, 30 seconds, first time 3 seconds, so that's actually really good. I didn't think it was uh, 3 seconds, and just imagine powering it up. But hey, we'll take a look at more of these things um, a little bit later on, so you know, definitely when we do like maybe a, an analysis on the actual Rising Gun, we can take a little, little bit more in-depth look on the, uh, the X skills. But right now, in my opinion, I think it's an okay mobile suit. If you really want to like you know tackle it, it it's going to be a good melee i don't think it's better than titus just from what i'm looking at uh it does have a couple of good word tags being uh mobile fi mobile fighter as well as long range so i don't think the long range is doing it any favors but that probably helps when it comes to the ex skill because um rising arrow yeah it's a beam shot so that actually does assist that but you know honestly i'm just I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too big on this, but I will keep one, uh, you know, in handy just in case it does become a top tier mobile suit. Now, if you go over into your achievements for events, if you look right here, clear one event normal, clear two event missions normal, three events normal. So this is the entire sum. You're going to want to do ten normal uh, event missions. Just do ten. Do not do any of the uh, the tickets, like the replay tickets. The replay tickets do not count towards the actual achievement. So just keep all your tickets in case you want to, like, uh, if you finish everything, you want to go to very hard mode and just use the tickets for very hard mode after you've already done all, all those as well. Then you can, but I would probably just reserve them for something else, maybe even uh, farming, maybe the dailies. That's probably going to be way more beneficial, to be honest, because... These events are pretty easy, um, but yeah, some of those dailies being at 50,000, it's best just to go ahead and use those replay tickets for those. But yeah, so you're going to need 10, you need to do 10 normal missions, and if you go further down, now it's going to be 20 hard. You need to do 20 hard missions to get all these beautiful items. So you're getting awakening circuits, you're getting upgrade nippers, you're getting good capital, so lots of great things right here. This is what you need to focus on. Focus on these achievements. Once you get all these achievements out of the way, then you can just smooth sail and just continue to do very hard. Now, very hard, you're going to have to do 30, but watch what's at the end of this. So you go through all these, and at the end, you have an awakening circuit waiting for you. So this, you're going to get two. From this one event, you're getting two level four awakening circuits. This is going to be very beneficial if you already have level four parts. You, like, I'm going to be powering up my new. My new Gundam is going to be super damn good in this game um, because I'm already kind of planning long term. Like, what do I need? What part do I need to focus on? Some of the parts are already maxed out at the level of 60, so I'm only going to have 
20 more levels to max it out at level 80. The only thing I'm missing is I haven't been getting any other new parts. Um, so the, the traits and everything else is actually kind of not that good. Okay, so we're going to do one quick mission. Uh, it's going to be on a very hard. Now, I don't have enough um, energy, so I am going to be using one of my 100% tickets. But, hey, I'm going to be using it anyways. Um, so I don't really have any problem. Just choose Joe. I am going to be choosing auto because I don't think there's a need for me to actually do it. Um, so, oh, that's weird. So, yeah, I'm going to go here, do energy recovery. Yes. Energy recovered, and let's go sorting. All right, so just taking a look at the uh, Titus Gundam, it's pretty damn quick. Uh, I actually really, really enjoy it, and uh, a lot of stuff's going on, so yeah, the frame rates are going to be a little bit low. Um, maybe one day I'll get a new phone, and it'll work a little better, but hey. But yeah, so, so far the Titus is really good. Obviously, without the extra backpack, it'll be way, way better, um, just because it'll have the extra perks and uh, the word tags. So here comes the Rising Gundam right now. This thing is, is a joke. It's 8,000 on very hard. Like, and you're, getting, you're gonna have two green frames uh, attacking you as well. So, just on auto, I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about anything at all. We got last shooting from my uh, new Gundam. So he, he's destroyed. Titus doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So yeah, that was it. It's it's super easy. So if you're, I mean, if your overall combat power is like super high, you're not gonna have any problems. Uh, now there are gonna be some drop rates. Well, not drop rates, but there gonna be some drops. So the droppable items are going to be awakening circuits, both um, basically like the the whites and the greens. It's still pretty good because you're gonna be wasting a lot of these later on if you're trying to mass like upgrade a lot of different suits. Um, so you're going to need as many of these as possible. Uh, I'm hoping I can get a lot more, but I haven't really seen them drop too frequently. Unfortunate, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Now, uh, that's pretty much it for me, guys. So one of the key keynotes to take away from all this, for the arenas, you're going to want to maximize your point gain. And if you can, you know, definitely drop a few uh, chips into the, um, the gotcha. Try and get that exit. If not, maybe try and get a, a dynamis. I know it's all about luck and we can't really control it. But if you can, make sure you're doing your 10 times pull, so that way you get that increased chance. Um, I was lucky enough to get uh, uh, Anexia, like only a couple in, but that was also because of the maintenance, so I got an extra 1,000 um, uh, chips, so that really helped me out in the long run. But hey guys, I hope you're having a good time. This is only going to last one week, one week, and that's it. So let me show you real quick. So yeah, up until 8, 14, 12. So it's actually like whatever time is, is your time compared to this. This is Tokyo time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's supposed to end like, I think on the 13th for back in the United States. Hopefully you get it, man. And I hope you get a lot of good, uh, parts and I hope you get that, uh, that beautiful four times awakening circuit. But Hey, that's it for me guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching and stay tuned for my coverage on the arena. Bye-bye.